Thank you. Now, 534 tomorrow is a huge day when it comes to our elections this year. It is National Voter Registration Day, which means in states all across this country, including many college campuses, there are going to be a lot of events taking place. Our Joe St. George looks at the states where registering to vote early matters the most and what the data in 2024 tells us about the state of the race. Well, it's almost that time when ballot drop boxes like this one will be used in many cities from coast to coast. But before you can vote in this country, you have to register to vote. And that is something that both campaigns are tracking here in 2024. In many states across the country, registering to vote early isn't as big of a deal because you can register on Election Day. But that is not the case everywhere, including in many battlegrounds. In Georgia and Arizona, the registration deadline is October 7th. In North Carolina, it's October 11th if you are not voting early. In Pennsylvania, the deadline is October 21st. Voter registration is in focus this week because of National Voter Registration Day, which takes place on Tuesday. That's generally one of the biggest spikes in registration that we see throughout any given election cycle. Tom Bonnier is with Target Smart, a group that tracks voter registration data. He says the unofficial holiday is an important one in every election, but this year it may have competition for the most consequential. Data compiled from his group shows how much voter registration interest spiked following the Harris Trump debate and Taylor Swift's subsequent Instagram endorsement post. In encouraging people to register to vote. Former Ohio Congressman and past presidential candidate Tim Ryan tells Scripps News about the impact in Trump leaning Youngstown, Ohio. About six people walked into the Mahoning County Democratic Party headquarters separate from each other saying Taylor Swift sent me here to register to vote. Both the Harris and Trump campaigns are tracking who is registering this year and whether Americans are identifying as Democrat or Republican. For most of the year, Target Smart data shows Republicans with an advantage over Democrats with registering more voters. But that is starting to shift since Harris got in the race. Democrats have been playing catch up. And the question is, is there enough time to close that gap? Bonnier says Gen Z is registering as unaffiliated voters in larger numbers than past generations. And he's seeing a great divide between young women and young men. The Gen Z women are actually becoming more democratic and progressive in terms of how they're voting, how they're identifying, whereas young white men are actually headed in the opposite direction. So you're seeing a bigger gender gap in partisanship. Joe St. George, Scripps News, Washington.